one of the things that upsets me about uh, people is how little we think our power is a lot of people tell me that uh, you know we are um, all the time sitting at home these days during lockdown not doing much uh, not going about our business and there's not much we can do to help other people what can i possibly do i'm a housewife i'm a small time businessman i'm uh, just a student i'm just a small child um i'm just uh, a retired employee i'm uh, more than 75 years old all these people tell me that uh, there's nothing i can do to help uh, this situation get better and the planet is going through such a crisis it is uh, something that's uh, beyond our uh, our capacity to do anything about uh, what can one person sitting at home do and i uh, beg to differ i believe that each one of us has the power to contribute towards making this planet get through this challenging time uh, one individual at a time i feel that if you are somebody who's 80 years 90 years 95 years old or somebody who's 8 or 9 or 5 years old uh, somebody who's just uh, just a housewife i completely disagree with this term by the way um, I genuinely uh, respect women who have put aside their own dreams to raise a family and to uh, love and work for a family. Uh, I think there can be a great, there cannot be a greater cause than that. Having said that, uh, I believe that a small child, um, a retired person, a housewife, uh, uh, a businessman, a small-time service person, a manager, a CEO. Uh, it doesn't matter who you are, each one of us can contribute towards uh, getting this planet outside of this situation that all of us find ourselves in and the, the way we can do this is with our thoughts. All of us, uh, most of us have given in to the conversation going on around us and the conversation around us is not fun. Pandemic, pandemic, lockdown, lockdown, crisis, crisis, this news, that news, death. COVID, that's all I hear around me, it's depressing. Uh, what can get us out of it is hope, prayer, optimism, belief, trust in the future, in the universe, in the fact that it's all a cycle. What goes down comes up, what goes up comes down. If each one of us holds on to hope, to a prayer, to optimism, and continue to put our focus into thoughts that make us feel better, not thoughts that make us feel bad. You know, even a desperately sad sigh contributes towards the negativity that's going around in the planet. But a simple act of clapping, of music, of smiling, of laughing, of uh, sharing a good memory, of uh, sharing a joke, a song that makes us feel better. If each one of us can uh, ignite a certain level of fun, laughter, happiness, joy, peace in not just our hearts but also in another person's hearts or in several people's hearts or so much only in our hearts that it just goes out into the universe and expands and touches other people's lives and uh, somehow um, contributes like soil and water and manure into uh, the soil of this planet in, like sunshine. Uh, onto soil which is wet, it can make the plants of uh, the future grow faster and in a more healthy and happy atmosphere than what we are going through. I mean, I hope it is clear. I can't find the words to explain this, but if we continue to focus on what's going wrong during this lockdown situation, we are contributing to that negativity which is bringing the planet down. And if we continue, force ourselves, um, refocus into a nicer place to think, nicer thoughts, doing good things, feeling good, passing on those good feelings to other people through WhatsApp, through talking, through telephone, through email, through Zoom. If I can touch five lives every day by picking up the phone and saying, hi, how are you doing? You know, I was just thinking of you, I was missing you, I was missing your smile. Five people every single day. I am contributing towards taking the planet 
to a better place and making sure the planet is coming out of this situation quicker, healthier, better. And uh, all it takes for me is five, ten minutes. So whether you are a five-year-old child or a ten-year-old child or a thirty-year-old housewife or a eighty-year-old retired person or a ninety-year-old um, bedridden person, you can still smile at somebody. You can still say something that makes you feel good. You can uh, think something that makes uh, you feel optimistic. You can say something that makes somebody else feel better about their day. You can uh, put out a prayer that makes the planet get better. I think each one of us has the power to get the planet out of this situation. The more we understand this, the more we practice it, the faster we will get out of it. And each one of us has to keep reminding ourselves that I have the power to make things better.